Greetings gamers, and welcome to my next Let's Play. As you can see, we're diving back into Five Nights at Freddy's, but we're skipping two and three. So my friend 13 year old kid suggested this one because he was like, man, what's more fun than like being a kid trapped in your room, terrified. And I'm like, that's kind of Mikey's life sometimes. I mean, that's 90% true. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of information before we fully dive in. We had actually done a previous recording, but my dumb self forgot to unmute the most important part, my microphone. <laughs> so if for Ooh. some reason it seems like I'm doing really well, it's because we have a little bit of experience. <laughs> so You know so what? Or on the other hand, we no longer look like we're abysmally charting through the tutorial level. Exactly. Full disclosure, this is not the first time playing this level. <laughs> Alright, let's dive back in. New game. Five days until the party. What? And there's our bear, Freddy himself. Mr. Fazbear. What did he do this time? Too much. <laughs> Far too much? <laughs> he locked you in your room again. Oh god. Don't be scared. I, I am here scared. with you. No! That's why we're scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. So like with any game, most games anyway, you can walk around with the WASD keys. I don't think you can use the arrow keys at all. No, you don't use the arrow keys. So, How do you use that flashlight? Uh, we don't have the flashlight just yet. Oh god! But we I'm see scared. we see Freddy kind of watching us with his eyes, no matter where I go in the room. He's a creep. In this tiny little room. And then we see his friends on the floor over here with Chica and Bonnie and Foxy. They're, you know, they're his friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends, you say. <laughs> So then we go over to the door, and there's a pounding sound, because I, I guess it's trying to be either us trying to get out, or something trying to get in. Oh, good. And then we fall to the ground, and we start crying, as I would. Because ah! you know damn sure if this were a real situation and I was in it, I would be, I, <laughs> not only I would mean, I. I mean, sometimes while playing this, you do that. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'd pee in tears, I might pee a little. <laughs> like. Like, go back to where you did the first game in this series. Legitimately, <laughs> there were tears, there was pee, there was a lot of, Oh, God, why are you making me do this? I was lucky I wasn't wearing my work clothes. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. Uh, okay, so here we are in the bedroom. We see two doors, a closet, and there's a bed behind us. Um, we can turn on a flashlight with control, which is going to be our best friend in this game. And of course, we have to check the doors. It's going to give us a little warning that says, Listen carefully. If you hear breathing, hold the door shut. If you do not hear breathing, use your flashlight. Oh god, my flashlight! <laughs> that, was, that was my hot stalker breath for the video. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you're welcome. I have to get, like, really close to my phone for that. <laughs> what can I uh, say except... No. You're welcome. <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna get demonetized. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Forget, forget me, YouTube. <laughs> you can't even do covers anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we might have to re-record that part. <laughs> <laughs> I was at least trying to make it scary. I was like, right. oh, God. <laughs> and then I just jump in. And then you're just like, I can't help it. I'm actually do this. I can't help it. I'm that. You're welcome. Boom. See, I'm naturally a Disney prince. So like, when I when I hear anything, <laughs> the problem is that like, I think some part of you is like naturally the rock, right? Because you're just you're just like, I'm gonna do this whole thing because I'm Maui now. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
I'm the Rock's personality. I don't got the Rock's body. I wish I had the Rock's body. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we'll get you there. <laughs> you ain't gonna be on that cheeseburger diet, but we'll get you. <laughs> Remember when, like, a few years ago, The Rock was like, this is how much I eat, and it was like a stack of pizzas, and it was like, how the fuck? Right? How, how, how did you... you eat that and look like that? <laughs> well, there's a lot of it that's a, you know, a strenuous workout that comes with eating the pizza. My problem is, I just eat the pizza. <laughs> truth. Truth. I just want the pizza and none of the workout. <laughs> uh... So anyway, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Mentioning pizza and we're playing Five Nights. <laughs> I mean, it is a pizzeria. Yeah, exactly. Well, it was a pizzeria. Now we're in our, our childhood bedroom. <laughs> yeah, because you got hit in the back of the head and you can't have pizza no more. No, 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 I can't. No. I mean, I think, I think lore-wise that's what has happened to you as a sad little child. And and you know, the thing about these these games... Uh, they're all pretty much in different scenarios, um, but the pizzeria, while that was creepy, something about having it... Oh, wait a minute. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Oh, I got scared from it because I wasn't getting the warning anymore. <laughs> oh, no. um, but something about being a childhood bedroom where... You know, every child has their boogeyman, and <laughs> oh god, <laughs> and it's just it puts more of a, a more relatable situation to them. <laughs> I had a really, I had a really stupid boogeyman. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so did I. I don't want to talk so, about it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll I'll tell you about mine because it's so stupid. Okay, it's so stupid, and like to this day, I still have like a weird phobia about going in the kitchen at nighttime. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and it was in this house specifically that I live in. Oh shit! <laughs> because because I didn't have this problem going in the the old house's kitchen. Right. It's coming back to this house, and I'm still like, nope, not going in there at night. <laughs> <laughs> um. So when I was very little, because we moved to this house when I was five. Right. And um, I used. To I don't know what made me see this, but I used to see a big, like, purple blobby monster that kind of looked like Grimace from the <laughs> house. <laughs> Except me. kind of friendly. Like, Grimace, but not friendly. Like, actually grimacing. <laughs> and he so used to steal silverware. Oh, God. That was my childhood boogeyman. He so, was kind of like Grimace, but he stole see. silverware and, and cheese. He stole silverware <laughs> and cheese. And peanut butter. Mine's not honestly too different from that. I don't know why, as a child in my childhood home, I feared Grover of all things. Oh, super Grover! <laughs> I, I used to think, as a child, that he was under my table. Oh, and, no! And he was doing the near-far thing. And I would freak <laughs> whenever near. he would get near. I'd oh. scream. <laughs> oh no! My sister loves Grover. Like she still loves Grover. She's like fifty. <laughs> um. Oh no! That's so sad. I, don't... <laughs> I mean, love Grover. He's like. But at least Grover's kind of like willowy, you know? Yeah, He's kind of yeah. wiry. Like, if you had to, like, curb stomp Grover, like, you could. <laughs> exactly. Like, of all the monsters, like, I'd want to take, take Grover to fight. <laughs> like, if I'm, if I'm going to go, all right, I got to take a Sesame Street monster to fight. All right, Grover. <laughs> Grover's the one you can Grover. do it. <laughs> I can fucking fight him, you know? <laughs> this one, like, mine was kind of sized like Big Bird. Yeah. Like, it was, it was a big monster. So, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna eat me! But he just wanted the silverware, the cheese, and the peanut butter. So the things that I needed most from the kitchen, he had on lock. And I was like, oh my god! And we just made it through the first night like that. We were just oh. talking. <laughs> he won't stop until you find him. I don't, I don't, I don't, don't, don't want to find him. Why, why I gotta find him? All why right. can't someone else find him? This is where we actually get to leave our room a little bit and explore the house. And Freddy's telling me to go over there, but he's not really saying where, so I'm, I'm gonna go to the right. 
Oh, this is another bedroom. With a pink Ooh. bed and some toys and a bucket. Oh, it's your sister's bedroom. Oh, no. But she, she got eaten by baby. Oh, I don't want to get eaten. I don't want to get eaten. I well, wanna... I mean, you, you kind of, well, spoilers. Oh, God. No spoilers. Okay. All right. All right. So, oh god, there's Foxy behind the television, and I'm crying again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tomorrow is another day, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fun with Plush Trap. It's not fun. No, it really ain't, though. I'm gonna leave a Yelp review for this place. So... The whole story behind this minigame is we're supposed to play, like, red light, green light with this little rabbit at the end of the hall here. When I initially that did this, no freaking rabbit. I didn't know that I was supposed to, like, let it be dark for a minute, so I just kept my flashlight on him. We're not going to do that. We're going to actually try. The key is we're no. supposed to listen toward for sounds, like, two different sounds, and then wait about eight seconds. I might go a little quicker than that, maybe five seconds. Because that's when he's supposed to be right on the X. So, lights out. You know what? I don't know if we have to count the one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Yeah, it I don't might know just if... be the eight. Yeah, they might not be as long of seconds. For there this. is a timer going, so. Oh, if there's a timer going, then just count the seconds on the timer. All right. Yeah. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> I'm never gonna get the hang of that. <laughs> See, we well, we, had... we know how. We just don't right. have the timing right. Right. See, we 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 gathered all of our information from one particular walkthrough. Um, yeah, the the great walkthrough uh, on level skip by Matt Bird. Yes, and without yeah. his information, we probably wouldn't have gotten. Anywhere with this game. Anywhere. This because anywhere. He, he is so detailed in his walkthrough that he's even got how the animatronics move, what to watch for, what to listen for. How many seconds to count for. Yes. So if you're ever stuck with this game, or any Five Nights at Freddy's, because I'm sure he's got other walkthroughs for different titles, I would suggest you check out his walkthroughs and give him a read, because he might help you. Yeah, and we could we could like link that on the video. We could. In fact, I'll drop a link in the comment section so you can look at it when we uh, yeah when we get this uploaded. We're cool. We're yeah. cool like that. Absolutely. If we ever get this uploaded, ever, ever, I hate, I hate to admit this. This might be uh the thrice attempt at uh. Doing Ooh, this. thrice. That's a that's a good word. <laughs> That shows that you work at a college campus. I Ooh. know, right? <laughs> I work at a SAT words. I work in a bookstore. <laughs> at a college campus. Does that make you the big man on campus? I mean, it. it, it I wouldn't say that it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I ain't wrong. <laughs> oh. So, while we're on the topic of animatronic like scary things. Yeah! <laughs> um, another Sesame Street related horror story. <laughs> <laughs> because it's fitting for this. So, Have we started night two? We're on night two right now. Okay, okay. And we're at 1am. I just want to be prepared in case you scream. <laughs> Which, we're like, Don't do it, do it, Sesame Street. Which oh, is funny God. because oh, screaming, this, screaming is what I did with the Sesame Street related horror story. I mean, truth. So when I was two or three, my family took me to see Sesame Street live. And, you know, I was all cool and dandy with it. I was having a good time. And then Cookie Monster shows up. It's always a monster. Okay. And we were like up front with this show. So we were like front row seats. So when this big cookie monster came to the edge of the stage and leaned over, I must have thought he assumed I was a cookie because I screamed. <laughs> oh. 
He had assumed the cookie position. I, exactly. And there I am, watching Sesame Street in a fetal position, thinking Cookie's gonna eat me. <laughs> hey, Cookie did it all. Oh, <laughs> See, I knew there was gonna be a scream during the cookie. <laughs> it was right at the tail end of the story. It was Chica. <laughs> Chica came to get your cookie. <laughs> so, um... I said, yeah, we um we went to Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. <laughs> and like I had been to like some other kids' birthdays at Chuck E. Cheese, so like I knew how this was supposed to work. Yeah. Like, you know, like there were the animatronics that like did the singing and dancing, of you know, course. they were like, Oh hey, we sing the songs and I thought they were super creepy. I mean, and you know were, like, And then there was like a dude in the Chuck E. Cheese suit that like came down. And he was supposed to, like, feed you your first piece of birthday cake, but then he smushed it in your face. Yes. And I did not want the smushing I, in the I, I wouldn't have liked that either. <laughs> yeah. I was not, I was not having it. So, um, so, like, I kept thinking about it, like, the whole time. Like, I remember being very, like, on edge and mortified. Right. <laughs> So then it was cake time, and like, here comes Chucky. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> And like, I was just like, no, like, and I was I was not that kid to like make a scene, you know, because right. that was just no, like we didn't do that. And I like just I was not gonna let that happen. <laughs> so my dad took Chuck E. Cheese on the corner and was like, look, uh, I don't even know if he like paid him or what. He was just like, look, we are not smushing the cake in the face. <laughs> just don't you do were, it. Like, you were going to take one little fork full, and you're going to put it in the kid's mouth. I'm like, that's it. There you go. And um, so, he, so he brings Chucky back over, and he's like, Chucky's not going to smush it in your face. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you think I trust a live-action mouse? Right. No. Like, that is not happening. And, yeah, so that was the last time that I got to have, like, a birthday party in public. <laughs> because I, I, like, I, like, bitch Chuck E. Cheese out, and, yeah. Don't you dare smush that cake in my face. <laughs> but, like, I saw him, I saw him do it to, like, other people, and I was right. just, I couldn't, I did not trust that this mouse was not going to do it to me, and I was like, no, no, See, no, 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 I, no. I wonder if that's a, like, a situation that only happens at certain Chuck E. Cheese establishments, because, like, I had a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese when I was, like, eight or something, and I didn't have to worry about cake being shoved in my face. <laughs> I don't know, or, like, maybe... Maybe, like, in the smush cake incidents, like, they, like, told Chuck E. Cheese to do it? Yeah, that's possible. That's very I don't possible. Know. I had seen it happen, like, more than once, though. Yeah. And, like, I I did not want that, you know? Because right. I didn't, I didn't like, have messes. I didn't, like, make things messy. Right. And I just, like, that... Just the idea of cake being smeared all over you, like, no, no. Like, even thinking about it now, I feel really uh. uncomfortable. Like... <laughs> I'm like, no, like, that's like, a waste of the cake. Like, oh, why would oh, you breathing. do that? One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, five one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand. He gone. Okay. Ooh, I heard breathing at the door. <laughs> oh, my and it is 3 a.m. on night two. Ooh, ooh. I mean, that's like, I'd never be okay with somebody throwing a pie in my face, though. Like, no, I don't I don't care if it's for funniness. Yeah. Like, that's not happening. Well, I know sometimes when people throw pie in your face, it's just whipped cream in a pie crust. Yeah. And, like, that I guess I'm okay with, but I don't really like it anytime food gets wasted. Right. I feel very funny about that, because I'm Same. like, there's people who need food. Why are we wasting food like exactly. this? Exactly. Like, there has to be a better way to be funny, because this is not, oh, this is not okay. Three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. He gone. Woo! Okay. Oh, there a demon on the bed. Getting frisky with with Freddy there. Whoa! Three one thousand, four one thousand. All right. We are half. Oh, we at four a.m. We only got two more hours to go. I think we can do this. Four one thousand. All right. Nothing there. I feel like in our journey to get through this video recording, like, in our final product, it's going to be, like, perfectly clean run, you beat spring trap every time, knock off two hours. <laughs> It'll be fucking amazing. <laughs> and we're just like, 
Oh, yeah, that's totally how we did it the first time. Right? Like, there wasn't a multiple takes. This this is my first time viewing this. Anybody who says otherwise is full of it. <laughs> yeah, totally. At some point, oh, actually watch the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll actually see what I'm reacting to. Yeah, because... <laughs> Because my reaction time is always delayed. <laughs> <laughs> but in the final product, it'll be beautiful. It'll sound like, it'll sound like I can see it. <laughs> Ooh, hi, Chica. I don't want your lace cupcake. You get away from me. Yeah, Chica, stop trying to date rape him. You, you do? Yeah, already I did me. that once. That's all you get. Oh, damn. Oh, okay, I'm breathing. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000. That's right, you go away, bitch. Huh? Get to <laughs> get each other your cake hole. Okay, alright. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Four one thousand. Ah, there's Chica again. She she trying to come after my booty again. Yeah, that Chica, she wants that booty hole. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Four one thousand. During during uh uh no oh god, somebody's in the closet? What? This is night two. Oh, uh, Jesus. He didn't actually get me. He just scared me for a minute. <laughs> what that's what he does. What he does. 6 a.m. We alive. Oh, my God. Woo! 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 Night two. Benito. Finally. Boom. Woo! All right.